I'm gonna help you figure out what condition your comic collection is in. So, in the comic collecting community, we use this thing called a grading scale. And what this system is, is basically it's a series of numbers up to 10, which is basically shows how nice your comic is. So the reason we have this scale and that also has an impact on value is because if I have a comic that's six, and my friend Joe has a comic that's a, that's, that's a, that's a three, people are going to want my six more. So the one that's a six is worth more than the one that's a three. And vice versa, the one that's a three is worth less than a six. So I'm going to show you this scale. So this is the grading scale. You got numbers. See, we have a uh, near mint plus. It's a 9.6. That stuff, it's really, really nice condition. And down here, we have stuff that's really, really worn and beat up. Usually stuff up to a four. We get past the four. That's usually stuff that's average. It was nice. Usually we get to a seven and up. So that's about here and up. You get stuff that was, that's like nicer stuff. So. This is stuff in the 7.0 up, which is a 7 out of 10. This is stuff that was read once, put away. Maybe there's one tiny little crease, but it really should be very, very nice. Stuff that's like, you read it over and over and over again, and you threw it, and your mom said, Billy, clean up your room! And she just threw everything in a box, and that's just probably not going to be in that range. It's probably going to be stuff that's up to a 4, that's like well read. And uh, I'll show you I'll show you how I grade. So, if the cover is detached, the most it can grade is a four. Even if it's really nice, like perfect, but the cover is detached, like the inside is separated from the cover, can't be more than a four. Now, four is the maximum grade. It can be as low as a 0. 0.5. So, you're gonna have to look for flaws, things such as creases, paper missing, tears, stains, crayon, you wrote your name on there, you drew in his eyes all green and red, and you did your math homework on top of there. Well, that's gonna hurt the condition. So I'll show you this comic, for example. We have an Avengers number 44, Avengers 44. Now, the cover is detached, which means that it can't be more than a four. Now, you gotta look through and say, okay, there's a hole on the paper right here that's paper missing. There's a split right here. You can see how the paper is split. That used to be sealed back when it was brand new, but someone really, really read that thing. And you have to carefully look through, look for all the defects. The color is nice, the gloss is nice, and you'll find it usually is. The biggest problem is usually tears and creases. So, see a split? the hole, it's detached, the paper smells, it's not musty, it's, it's a little paper smell, but it's not terrible. I would put this comic at about a 3-0, just because of that hole, that split, and this. And this comic, first glance, it looks, it's not bad, you know, it's, it's not bad, it's not great, but it's not terrible either, and that's what you would say. It's, I'd put this at a 3, because of the cover detached, and those little things that might seem like not much to the average person, but comic collecting is a very particular hobby. The littlest things mean the biggest deals to most people. People condition is very important. Let me show you another one. I got this Walt Disney's Donald Duck. And the staples look good. It's attached. Attached. Little tear right there. You can see on the very top. Very, very, very light crease at the bottom. See on the very corner, right where my... It's, on, it's very hard to see. It's a light crease, which is better than a hard crease because it's not... It's not as bad. If it's light, it's not as bad to the eye appeal. It looks nicer. So it's there, but it's not as bad as if it was like really, really like cramped down there. So, I would put this one at a 6.5. It's got a little chip off the back. 6.0. Probably like a fine. So that's in this range. The pretty decent range. It's like, we probably read a couple times, but the person was very, very careful with it. 
they probably might have stored in a folder or a nice dry environment that really didn't have anything get to it. Like, you'll see this little edge chip, little crease on the very top. But it's really not bad. It's got that. It's really not bad. It might look to be in really nice shape to the naked eye. It's got those little things, but I would put that as a 6.0, which is a fine. Not bad. So this is a 6. You ready for this? What's it now? Well, there's a giant chunk out of it. Now I put this at about a 3. Well, actually, good plus, 2.5. Just that, That's so obtrusive, it goes right over the eye appeal. If it's on the back, it's not, doesn't hurt it as much. If this thing was on the back, oh, you know, like, uh, like this, which is actually a bigger chunk. Like, if this piece out of the front wasn't there, this would out, was out, even though it's a bigger piece, I would still say it's a good plus, because the back does not matter as much as the front. Well, now it's a .5. It's missing more than half the cover. It's .5 in this category. Let me show you a nicer example. Maybe the one that's not so, uh, torn up. So... Let's look at this, like, early 1990s Captain America. It's got very, very, very faint creasing, but it's very small, and it's very light, more importantly. It's got, like, a little, like, ding there. It's just so light. Once you see, like, the paper is creased and it breaks the color, like right here. You can see that breaks the color, that breaks the color. That's the things that not as good. If it, if it doesn't break color, it really doesn't matter that much. Once it breaks color, no, no, it's bad. With this color breaking crease here, here, and that thing, I would put this as a fine plus, which is again, a 6.5. Let's look at another one. This one looks pretty nice. It's early 90s, but there's really virtually nothing wrong with it. It's got a few spine stresses, like right here you can see them. There, 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 there. But it really doesn't have much wrong with it. It looks almost like fresh or almost like it's brand new but fell off the rack once i would put this at a very fine 8.0 so that would be for reference to be here now comics that are brand new today typically range between a 7 and a 9.8 rarely do comics get a 9.9 .9 or 10 in all my years i have never had a 9.9 .9 or a 10 and 9.8s are still hard to come by the average comic that you buy new today is really a 9.2. Because if they, when they put it on the shelf, thumb, finger, fingernail, oops, dropped, bend corner, it's really hard to get a 9.8. It has to have none of those things. It can have one tiny tick, that's it. 9.6, usually like two ticks on the spine. A tick is, is about like, one of those little, like, lines. Two. Rest must be perfect. Nine, four. Usually, like, four of them is usually where I draw the line. Nine, four is four. A nine, two could have more. And once you get to it down to nine, oh, you see that it's starting to go down. Usually, nine, o's can have, like, a tiniest, tiny, 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 tiny little crease. Like, something that, if you see this paper, I'm going to crease it to show you. Right here. Okay, I creased it so you can see it. There is this tiny little crease right there. With this going on, if this wasn't here, I would put this as probably a 9-0. The rest was perfect. Has all their stuff going on. I already graded this an 8. I would probably put this in a 7.5. The crease doesn't hurt it as much. Now, if I do... This, I just tore on purpose the comic, I'd probably put it at a VG. VG plus, it's not bad otherwise. VG plus, tears real, which is a 4.5 by the way. That's right here. Now, to the naked eye, doesn't look like much is wrong with it. You just see, oh, 
old tear there. Tears matter a lot. Can't ever go back. Once it's torn, you don't go back. All right, thanks guys. Hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.